Hey guys, so finally figured out how to get this Omron BP786 to pair successfully. And I figured out that during pairing, if your phone or the Omron app sees any, any other Bluetooth device, the pairing process will fail. So I'm gonna show you guys how step-by-step step, I've been able to replicate the failure and also a successful pairing. So to start, what we're gonna do is we're going to, first of all, make sure that we tell the blood pressure monitor to unpair, and that's done by holding down the clock and the start and stop for a few seconds until you see these four flashing O's. Next, I'm gonna show a failure and to behind the scenes I'm gonna go into the developer options and make sure that force activities to be resizable is on which lets me kind of do a multi-screen and have both the Omron app and the Bluetooth settings up at the same time so I can see what's going on behind the scenes so I'm launching Omron and you're not gonna be able to see the most of the screen because the app does not allow for screenshots or video recording, but you're going to be able to see parts of it in just a moment. So let me go ahead and split screen this and then also bring up the Bluetooth settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pair new device just so we can see the Android system doing some scanning. Off screen, I am putting the device into pairing mode, which is gonna make it show up as BLE Smart. And at this point, if I go into pairing, the app is going to find the monitor, but it will not be able to connect to it. And sometimes it takes more than one try to have it show up. There it is. So one of two things is going to happen here. Either I'm going to get a message prompting me to clear the error on my blood pressure monitor, which usually does not come with any kind of error on the device itself. Or I'm going to get a pop-up saying invalid passcode or PIN. And at this point, I know the pairing isn't going to work, even though you see some things happening here. Now, what is interesting is this BLE Smart is a device, and I have found that the S is also the blood pressure monitor during the pairing process. So there's some sort of negotiation going on here, but, but, but I still know that this is going to fail. And there is the error. Couldn't pair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to relocate to somewhere in the house where I know I can not pick up any other Bluetooth devices, whether it's from my neighbor or from my smartwatch or from my VR system. And I will resume recording in just a moment with a successful pairing. Okay, I've relocated somewhere where there should be nothing else within range of my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and start the pairing process again, but I'm gonna back out and go to pair new device and just confirm I don't see anything else showing up on unavailable devices. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blood pressure monitor into pairing mode. There it is.
And again, that S is the device itself. And with any luck, this will be a successful pairing in about 10 seconds. Sometimes a little longer. Not bad a failure. So let's try that one more time. And that's probably because the phone did pick up something that just didn't happen to show up on the screen. I've had about an 80% success with this. Okay, another failure. Let's try that one more time. Usually if I get to this point where I see the S show up, the pairing does go through. Oh, there we go. We are connected. So as you can see, it's, it's painful, but I have been able to replicate this with uh, about 80% success. Sometimes you have to go through it a couple of times, uh, but there you go. This was a successful pairing, and I hope that this helps other folks out there